Hi guys, welcome. This is Arch. And this is the particular ISO where I try to debunk that you don't need to update daily, weekly, even monthly, right? So this is pure Arch and it may look like Apple and that's the last thing we've done. Last time on this particular SSD, we've updated our system and we've created, well, we did not create anything. We have installed something that looks like Mac, right? And that is Plasma's, well, selling point, I would say, that there is, there's so many people who make and create beautiful themes for it. And then you can have uh, this look, right? You have this little app thing here, and it says here, App Store. It goes, of course, to the Discover, but then anyway, it feels really like it's gonna be an Apple thing, right? With these logos that you recognize immediately. So the topic of the, well, the, the reason for this SSD for once is that it's easy to change the blur if you see the effect here. And it's easy to update, right? People always say you need to update this daily. That is not true, right? Debunking things is important. In January the 2nd, in 2020, I used an Arch Linux ISO, right? Listen, Arch, not Arco, Arch Linux ISO to install this. Then I started updating and updating and updating. So beginning of 2000, 21, 2021, 22, 23, almost the end, right? So we are rolling for four years and we've jumped, take a look at all these dates. We've jumped sometimes three months, six months, something like that, right? So just scroll stop the video say okay here's a jump of this many months and sometimes i really forget because the ssd is just lying on top of my desktop and if i have time right i just pop it in and play with it and then you see that we really are jumping in kernels and in time and that is possible right there is no problem jumping from July, September, October, December, January, March, September. And now we do a jump from end of September. So it's going to be October and November. So two months jumps, doesn't really matter. All that's required is knowledge. So update is something that we use on Arconix. I've put my alias in here. And the last two months we've seen all these changes with the reference five, right? The reference five going for the QT five reference. So Arch Linux says, we're gonna rename these packages. In essence, probably not eh, any way different, but just a renaming at this point in time. And then we need to say, yeah, sure, sure. We accept, we accept, we accept, we accept. We've seen two months of time we thought it was all covered, but then there's another one and there's another one, right? Until probably all these packages are discovered and are changed. And then all these files, as you can see, they all need to be changed. None can be forgotten, all dependencies. And we are still pressing enter. <laughs> ah, there you go. And then we got problems, right? You need to figure out things. And this was indeed something that people reported us. So what we see is that there are issues. The simplest thing is to remove things that clash, right? Telepathy is something that's in here. Um, there's the QT here, I guess. And if we do S, then we are going to remove that. So he wants also telepathy QD accounts KCM telepathy logger QT anything else approver telepathy telepathy KDE approver let's see then required by desktop applets now maybe there's an easier way, I don't know. Let's uh, do a control C and see if this is easier. Nope. 
So let's go and go on. So this one needs some lines extra. Telepathy. This is my first time that I've ever done this. <laughs> so what do I know? KDE accounts. Why is it not approving? Oh yeah, there's there is required by desktop applets, sorry. So KDE desktop applets, that's the guy. And there's meta. Okay. Telepathy. KDE meta. Are you gone? Maybe QTG streamer is a little bit too much. We'll see later on. But for the rest, it's all telepathy things. Right, so you remember QTG streamer if things start to fail. So if you want to update again, let's press enter all the time. So we have K floppy that needs to remove, needs to be removed. K floppy. Let's see if there are, are any any dependencies for it. No, just that one. Update. Enter. <laughs> there you go. Two, no, three gigabytes of download in two months' time. 755 packages for my system that we have here. So stuff is installed, that's for sure. Stuff I'll never use. Probably. Lost and found, Rofi. Yeah. <laughs> that was the same. Ooh, there are errors. So let's have a look. Mirror Osbeck. So normally, right, Mirror Osbeck is one of the better guys. So let's look, let's take a look at the mirrors and mirror lists. Osbeck is a good server. So I wonder, right? I really wonder, but okay, bye. And then we update again. And it's not coming from Osbeck now, it's coming from the second line. that was Archlinks UK mirror all world it.com and there's still errors now it's going to try it from here maybe we should go just get in the new databases how about that right let's see or just do we have anything that's gonna change the mirrors? Get the best mirrors on Arch? I don't know actually. We do have we have RAM maybe. So we have the rate mirrors, which is one that I prefer using. There's also of course reflector. This is an app. We have third party available. So RAM is now working. So it's doing its job. So N mirror list. Ouch, not my password. Is empty. And it's now filled with this. Well, Osbeck is winning again, so I'll find it strange. Okay, let's try again. Pseudo Pacman minus S Y Y U, please update. Only four megabytes. There was just one package that was a problem. You saw it? Let's have a look. Just one package that was the problem. Four. One of them. 
was not on the server. So it might just have been a, a glitch because servers communicate with each other. Packages are put on one server and this server is going to, or maybe more, I don't know, arch, arch thing. And then it goes over the world. It, it, it propagates as they say, and it uploads the package to the server. But sometimes it's there, but it's not there. It can be either there, it can be half there, or it will be finally there. So it might be just a timing issue that a package at certain point is not there, and then you get problems. Now, this we know, of course, Opera is signed by Ike. Ike the folder is well known, but there is no key. So he yeah, wants you to delete it. Sure, you can delete it. So all Ike, Ike is there. So sudo pacman minus s arch linux keyring. This we know. And we do jump from September to the 11th, so November. So it makes sense that the key is an issue. And we're downloading again the stuff that he creates, and that's typically these guys, Vivaldi, didn't know Opera, but Vivaldi and you. And it's gonna be checked, right? That package is signed by that guy, and that guy was not in the old keyring, it's now in the new keyring. And everything will be solved. And off you go. So it is really, in essence, still very much no die operating system. The Arch Linux keyring we knew, right? Or now you know, that's important. Packages are signed, Arch Linux wiki signing packages or keyring or something like that and read about it. And while it's doing its thing, we often go and have a look at the possibilities that this system provides. Now to think, where is it system preferences? We could, yeah, he's still updating stuff. So it's too soon, Eric, it's just too soon. You need to update if you want to design your stuff, right? So let's wait for a major update. And uh, reboot, there's no way around it. All the five, 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 the case stuff. So what I do is not update in Discover or PAMAC or anything graphical. I watch the code, I read the code and I see if there are any red things, mainly. Any errors, anything I should know. And then a space and you're back at the end. This is something we know. That's not important. You can leave it there. It's just what it is. A warning, right? Doesn't matter. It's not an error. There you are. So we have an up-to-date system again. So if we go for um, last minus capital F, I think, right? You see that oh, up here somewhere. We'll see that we have booted with this one and control T that later on will have an update with this guy and that will be that right jumping from september to november the 30th so rebooting next video i do want to change this look again so it's nice but there are so many things we can do see you in next video